Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Mark and I are here from Replay Guitar Exchange to go over some of the new pedals that have arrived here because we haven't done a video on pedals in a minute. Not in a while. Yeah, so we wanted to show those off to you guys. If you're interested in any of these, please visit our website, replayguitar.com, or you can give us a call, 813-254-8880. I would be happy to answer any questions that you might have on any of these pedals. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right, what are we going to start with? Okay, so this just came out. This is the Fender Switchboard, uh, which allows you to change scenes between a bunch of different pedals that you might have so you don't have to do some crazy tap dancing on stage. That's actually like a really useful tool. Yeah, we've never had one of these kind of things in the shop. So it's kind of cool that Fender is doing something like that and that we can actually carry something like this now. So for instance, if you had like a delay and a reverb that you used on just like one song and you had it set to a specific parameter on your pedal you could program that to this and hit that so that it turns those two pedals on just for that song and then when you turn it off it goes back to your other sounds that you have set up without you having to press a bunch of different pedals on your pedal board or you can also you can midi control everything so that let's say you had an ipad that had a song list on it you could pull up that song the midi would trigger the pedal and it would turn those pedals on in that scene. That's super cool. I need to get one of these and set it up. It's complex. It takes a lot of cables to do it, but it's very cool. Yeah, take a look at the back here and look how many cables there are. You have yeah. an input, output, five sends and returns, a foot switch out, and expression pedal. The UA Lion. This is a universal audio pedal that is basically a 68 Super Lead Marshall in a box. That's killer. It's killer. So this is made for going direct. You can you can use it as a distortion pedal. You have to kind of turn off the cabinet simulator to do that, but you can use it as a distortion pedal or you can use it as a direct interface into either a PA system, a DAW, whatever you want. So would you say that this is probably the most aggressive uh, of all of their pedals then? If oh yeah, 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 definitely. That's cool that Universal Audio is doing something like this uh, for all of our harder rock customers out there. So take a look at that. They are the kings right now of making basically amps and stomp box form. So if you're looking for something in that format, look no further. This is a super solid choice. Very solid. So this is the Orion, the Tape Echo. Of course, that's one of the coolest effects that you can have mm -hmm. in your rig because who doesn't like Echo? Echo, Echo. I love that. Guy. I love the way. <laughs> so uh, it's it's a really nice pedal. Of course, Universal Audio makes some really good quality stuff. It's pretty simple with the layout. You have a delay, a mix, feedback, wonk, and recording level, which is really cool. And then on the back here, trails are a true bypass, uh, preamp on or off, and an input and output with a nine volt power supply. So just like an old tape echo that Eddie Van Halen used and Jimmy Page used, they would use the preamp from that that device into the front of their amp you can do the same thing with this very cool i'm excited to go plug this in in a little bit yes we did some big pedals now we're going to do some small pedals. <laughs> yeah the little one's really small punch. small pedal big sound plexi drive which is a jcm 800 amp in a box kind of thing this thing kicks ass big fans of the wampler brand here at replay guitar exchange we have almost their whole line maybe their whole line i don't know close to it we have a lot of wampler stuff so when they came out with this recently we had to get it and now we have the largest pedal on the list. We bit the bullet and we decided to start carrying the Mac Daddy of loopers. And this is this is about as big as it gets as far as uh, Boss loopers go. Because they start out with the RC1, right? And now this is the RC600. And who knows, maybe in 10 years they'll be at the RC6 million. This thing can do all of your looping needs. Loops on loops, vocal loops, different configurations that you can do on this thing. It's really nice with an LED screen. Every parameter can be adjusted, so it's really nice, and the quality is nice, yeah, too. It's, really, it's, it, it's got some weight to it. You've got basically six loopers that you can run, I think, all at the same time. Wow, that's crazy. But imagine a realm of possibilities, maybe 600 loops. I just made that up, but maybe. But that sounds great. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, 
I, I buy the, I'll buy that for that. Yeah, sure. Really cool, guys. So now we go to a mid-size pedal. This is the Pigtronics Looper. The Infinity 3. So that's the like the Infinity, but three but times one. three. So Pigtronics, we decided to carry their top of the line looper as well because we wanted to have some versatility here at the guitar shop. If you're looking for a really nice looper, but maybe not as big as the Boss one there, this is a good alternative because it still can do most looping needs with a stereo input, stereo output, auxiliary ins and outs. Yeah, and this, this is cool because you've got a dedicated stop and you've got two loops. Most people aren't going to need any more than that, but, you know, the boss is for the person who basically wants to start loops and walk away and go eat something and come back to it, and it's still playing. Dude, we should do a video like that. <laughs> we should. <laughs> That's great. Cool. What else we got? All right. We're going to go Zach Wild now. All right. So Zach Wild just teamed up with MXR, and now they're doing some really unique cool pedals. I actually just saw Zach Wilde the other day with Pantera and it was absolutely awesome. His tone is killer. I wonder if he's using these on his rig. I'm sure he might be. So this is a phaser, but we have three of these Zach Wilde pedals, but we just picked this one because for the video it looks really cool. I think it's a phase 90, one button, super simple. Step on it, it works. Yep, it's kind of got that phase 90 tone, but with a little bit of Zach Wilde flavor. Here's another really cool pedal. This is this is a basic pedal. Everybody has had it or used it on their board, but nobody has had the blue sparkle. Yeah. Tube screamer. So when Ivanez came to us and they asked if we wanted to start carrying some of their limited edition tube screamers, I was like, absolutely. Especially because this is an anniversary year for them, like a bigger anniversary year. How cool is that, man, with the blue sparkle? It's, it's a tube screamer. It's the same as any other tube screamer, but with a cooler finish. I mean, this thing is... Everybody knows what a tube screamer sounds like. Everybody knows what a tube screamer does. It's a must-have classic pedal. This thing and a pair of spandex pants, that's all you really need, baby. So, in conclusion, we have a ton of new pedals here at the guitar shop, but a ton more that we can't even show off in one video because that would be a video that's hours and hours long. If you're interested in any of these, go to our website, replayguitar.com, where you can see a full list of all of our inventory. Mark and I really enjoyed showing these pedals off to you, so give us a call, 813-254-8880, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have on them. See you next time.